Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the different types of testing that are available in the JavaScript. Let's try to see. And also the different types of testing available in the Angular also we will try to see in this video. So let's go on to this video. So if I try to show it, here the title is the testing overview in the Angular. So first of all in automated testing, so what I can say is normal testing, generalized testing, automated testing, there are, th there are three types of testing that are available in general. So what are those testings? Those are nothing but unit testing, E2E testing and integration or functional testing. So here unit testing as we already know about that one, E2E testing means that is end to end testing, integration and functional testing. Let's try to see about these three types of testing in general in our view. Unit and ETU testing are very straightforward and well defined. So if you try to see in our earlier videos and all those things, so we will be having a clear overview of this. What are unit? What is a unit testing? When we what is the uh, testing? We will call it as unit and end to end testing. Also, we know about this those two testings clearly. Whereas this integration testing is a little bit vague concept. So that means little bit confusing concept, and can mean one thing to one person and different to some other person. So if you try to ask what is by integration testing to one person means he can give one type of definition. So when we call when we can do this integration testing and why, when we can call this one as integration testing like that. And if we ask to another person he will give a different different answer to that one. So because of that one integration or functional testing something like that we can say that one is something like some little bit confusing concept. Okay, let's try to see. Now let's try to see about this end-to-end -end testing as we know about this one pretty straightforward but in this course we will not go a little bit deeper or in, deeper or into this ET testing thing so we will be focusing only on the unit testing so just I will give you an overview of ETU testing. ETU testing is a kind of testing against a live running application means full application with the live database live server this is generally done through automating web browser. So here what I mean to say is when we will be doing the end to end testing. So the end to end testing is normally de uh, normally will be done on the live server that means live running application. So normally you will write try to write the end to end ETU testing on a live running application. So how we can do this one is generally this one is done by automating the web browser. Tests that are written uh, are written to manipulate the browser in an automated way to do things like click buttons type values in the forms, navigate to the page and so on and something like similar other tasks. So here what we will be doing in this end to end testing means normally we will be writing the test to manipulate the web browser. So whether it may be a Chrome or Firefox or anything. So we will write the code to manipulate the browser such that the browser will do all the tasks automated way. It will open our production application URL with URL and it will try to go on to the navigation navigating to the other pages and clicking on the buttons whether it is working properly or not on typing the values on the form and submitting the form everything it will do in an automated way how the user does that one in the browser so we will do it in an automated way that is nothing but an ETU testing the benefit of the ETU testing is we can validate the application that is working properly as a whole so what is the benefit of this end-to-end -end testing is we can validate that full application so now we can say that we can validate or we can we can assure that the whole application as a whole it is working properly or not all the modules and all the functionalities combined together so whether this application is working properly or not we can say that one by using this end-to-end -end testing and there are plenty of drawbacks in the ATU testing which have to do with the speed and difficulty of writing tests so there are also apart from the benefits of this ETU testing we also have the drawbacks in the ETU testing that is nothing but the speed the speed for running the test that it will take so much of time the speed and also the difficulty of writing this so writing a test in ETE test is somewhat difficulty when compared to unit and integration testing so this is what I mean to explain you so this is all about this ETE testing generally ETE testing are tend to be less reliable than other types of automated tests so what I can what what I can say is here ETE and testing are tend to be less reliable than the other type of tests like unit tests or integration tests Next we will have the other type of testing that is unit testing. Unit testing is done against a single unit of code. 
here we need to understand the definitions that means so we will do the unit testing again a single unit of code here unit of code means a single class whereas it considers javascript class or javascript function anything so it comes under single unit unit means so you will have a different meaning for that one so single class means javascript class or function something like that although in some other classes you can define unit of code as more than a single class so for example here i am trying to tell that unit testing means we will do the testing for a particular unit of code so if you want if i want to define the unit of code means i can say something like a single javascript class or single functions function or something like that but some in some other cases if you ask some other guys or something like that in some other cases we can say that unit of code something like it more than a single class it can be a multiple classes or something like that so normally it is like that so we can say like that integration and functional testing is defined as more than a unit but less than a complete application so now this integration and functional testing whereas this integration and functional testing comes in between the unit testing and the e to e testing so here we can define it as it is more than a unit testing but it is less than a complete application so that means you testing the unit of code comes under the unit testing right so unit of code so but here whereas in integration testing we will we will do the taking more than one unit so taking more than one units of code and we'll do the testing that one is called as integration testing now and and we'll not take the complete application so we can we cannot take the complete application we'll take only some part of the unit of the code and we'll try to test it normally this will be done to check that whether one part of the application is working with another part of the application or not so here normally why we will be doing this integration testing is we will be trying to check that whether one part of the application is working properly with the another part of the application or not we'll try to see it so here i will try to explain you the pictorial representation of this what i can say etu testing unit testing and also the integration testing and also i will tell you that how in angular we will be doing this integration unit testing when we can call this unit testing and all those things we'll try to see it here you'll be able to see that etu testing will be done on the live server live server means the front end application will be there you will be having the back end web server and also the db so etu te etu testing will react with uh, will react with all these all these things so it will it will test these all things the front end so front end will uh, connect to the web server and it will get the data and will check all the details so et testing will do will be with all these things whereas the integration testing so in our angular thing what i can say is integration testing means so you have a user component let's assume you have a user component and this user component depends on this user service okay it's a dependency injection so we have injected that user service into the user component now when we are trying to do the testing so we have, we need to test this user component along with the user service so we know that whether these two things are working properly or not so in order to test these two things that means two units of code here so we are in, we are involving with more than one unit so we can tell this one as an integration test okay so this is the thing whereas the unit testing so when it comes to the unit testing so here we will be testing only the user component so if you right now we are checking with the only the user component then we can tell you that one is an unit test okay this is the difference between unit test integration test and the etu test so here there the, is the, this is one of the special type of unit testing in angular we can name it as angular integration test or angular unit test or something like that what is that one is so if you try to see user component again this user component is divided into two parts user component logic ts file and also the user component template file okay so right now if you want to write the test means so you need to see that whether this user component is interacting properly with the template or not we need to test it okay again we are dealing with the two units here so user component ts file one unit and also user component template it is another unit so that means we are dealing with more than one unit so we can call it uh, we can say that when it's an unit integration test so here i have tell you that user component dealing means unit test right so here we have deal with the user component and user service so here two unit two units of code is there so now we we are saying that it is an integration test in a similar scenario so we are having user component when we are trying to test the user component we are checking the user component ts yes, along with the template also so this one we we angular itself calls this one also as an integration test so as the angular team is calling it as an integration test we can also name it as an integration test itself so like this so these are the different types of 
unit test uh, test available in the angular and also generally in the unit test available in the ma javascript hope you understood about this one so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you